Bill here. Uh, we're with John. John has been a long time patient of uh, mine. Uh, how many years have you been seeing me about? Probably 25 years. 25 years. And he's um, had a corneal transplant in the right eye, keratoconus in the left eye. He's done really well. He's wearing the Maxim Sclera lens, but prior to that, he did have corneal lenses and did pretty well with those. But how do these scleral lenses compare to those old lenses? Yeah, absolutely a game changer. Um, good, good wear time, easy to put in, take out, don't have problems with dust, all of the things that were kind of complicating factors of contact lens wear. Mm -hmm. This seems to take care of it. And then he also is a pilot, so he does real well. His vision today is uh, 2020 minus two in the right eye, left eye 2020. Um, he did get a new right lens just recently, uh, in about, about a week ago, and he needs a small correction change in that eye. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take uh, the lenses off and kind of look at the size of his cornea and also the profile of each cornea, and, and that'll give you a feel for how we uh, went about it, in fitting him. Also, we, we, we'll take uh, some uh, slit lamp photography and you'll notice in the right eye, in his transplant, he has a little bit of neovascularization, but it's not invading the transplant at, at all, so it's not much you need to worry about, just need to follow and, and check on it. So what we want to do is take a look at his eyes, and um, you can see how white they are. Go ahead and focus in on this, and get a good close-up. And again, as I said with some of these other patients, it's... Uh, when the patient comes in, if their eyes are fairly clear and white, you, you're probably going to have a pretty good fit. Okay, looking at John's cornea here, he has a cornea that's about average, maybe a little smaller than average. So the sag height is probably not going to be excessive. And when you look at the profile, it's, it's definitely steeper. It has more elevation than a normal cornea. So our sag is going to have to be a little bit deeper than average. In fact, he's wearing a sag of 533 on this side. His left eye is very similar also. Okay, in incessing uh, his corneas after the lenses are out, uh, the corneas are clear, they look really healthy. Uh, he has a little bit of neovascularization with this right eye, but he's had that, it's not a big deal. The actual shape of this cornea, this transplanted cornea is uh, steep and prolate. And his left eye being keratoconus, he's a little bit steeper than the average cone. And again, the cornea looks nice and healthy and clear. Okay, in assessing uh, the cornea here, we could see there's a little bit of um, neovascularization coming from the host cornea up to the suture line, which is fine. It's been like this forever. The only thing you got to watch is make sure that doesn't invade into the transplant itself. So to do a recap on John, um, he's done really well. Actually, he's worn these uh, lenses for 12 years. And we had to uh, adjust the prescription in his right eye, just a half a diopter, and brought him down to a clearer, sharper 2020. He is 2020 in the left eye, and, and we just serviced the lens in the left eye with a clean and a polish. We, so we resurfaced the lens so it, it's uh, not scratched anymore. Um, the main thing when dealing with patients that have irregular distorted corneas is to get a feel for how large the cornea is and how much elevation it has. And with, with John here, he's wearing lenses that are 675 in radius, a little steeper because his corneas are fairly steep, being a bulging PK in the right eye and, and a keratoconic eye in the left eye. But also uh, the sag is in the mid 500s, which isn't severe, but it's, it's on the steeper side. And so with John, because of the elevation he has, he needs to wear a lens that has a little bit more sag depth to it because of that. Do you have any comments or anything, John, about you know your experiences with uh, the Maxim Sclera lens or whatever? Yeah, the you know the experience has been really good. Uh, once once I got used to the initial uh, inserting the lens and um, kind of working through that issue, it took only just a couple of days, but uh, the vision seems to be much more clear. My wear time is much, much longer and generally very, very comfortable. And you're able to fly better, right? Able to fly really well and, uh, you know, enjoy.
enjoy the time up in the air. The other thing I don't have to deal with is, you know, particulates or dust or any of that kind of material getting into the eye, yeah. which was always a very strong source of discomfort. So oh, sure. I really, really like them. They allowed me to do a lot of things I wouldn't have been able to do before. Okay. So I would continue to obviously keep wearing them and uh, let's see in about six months. Sounds great.